The Milwaukee Brewers are aiming to make their third straight postseason, and they'll have plenty of new faces as they begin their drive for the 2020 playoffs. Milwaukee added four pitchers to its 40-man roster this season, three of those starters. Left-hander Eric Lauer was acquired in a four-player trade with San Diego in November. Lauer, who turns 25 in June, was San Diego's first-round pick in 2016, started opening day for the Padres in 2019. A couple of weeks after acquiring Lauer, the Brewers signed another lefty in Brett Anderson, a major league veteran who has pitched in 188 career games. Last year with Oakland, Anderson started 31 games while posting a 3.89 ERA. Next in the fold was right-hander Josh Lindblom, who has pitched 114 games in the majors, but he's been overseas the last three years and was the top pitcher in the Korean baseball organization the last two. Not content, just bolstering their rotation, at the end of January, the Brewers inked reliever David Phelps, who has pitched for the Yankees, Marlins, Mariners, Blue Jays, and Cubs over his seven-year career. Milwaukee's pitchers will have a new face behind the plate this season. With Yasmani Grandal gone, the Brewers swang a deal with Seattle for Omar Narvaez. Narvaez had a breakout year for the Mariners in 2019, hitting 278 with 22 home runs. Around the diamond, Milwaukee brought in a lot of competition with only second base and young star Keston Hira set in stone. First baseman Justin Smoke was three straight seasons of 20 home runs or more, including 22 last year for Toronto, was signed as a free agent. Also signed Ryan Healy, who has experienced playing first and third. Healy's 2019 season shortened due to injuries, but he had 25 homers for Oakland in 2017 and 24 for Seattle in 2019. With rosters expanded this year to 26 during the season, Milwaukee brought in three players who play multiple positions. Ronnie Rodriguez, who had 14 home runs in just 84 games while playing first, second, third, short, and left field for Detroit, was claimed off waivers. Veteran infielder Jeff Jerko was signed as a free agent. Brewers fans might remember Jerko from his time in St. Louis, where he played from 2016 to 18 and hit 61 homers over those three seasons. Milwaukee is also bringing nerd power back to Miller Park, having signed Eric Sogard, who played for the Brewers in 2016 and 18. As we've seen firsthand, Sogard can play all over the infield and even be put in the outfield in a pinch. Well, that's a lot of additions to the infield. The outfield was left mainly intact except for one large addition. Strong arm power hitter Avisail Garcia was signed to a two-year contract. Garcia will be a nice addition to the Brewers lineup. Last year with Tampa Bay, he batted 282 with 20 home runs and stole 10 bases. The Brewers have a couple other additions who didn't play for the team last year. Relievers Corey Knebel and Bobby Wall will be returning after losing all of 2019 with injuries. And oh yeah, there's that one guy who had to miss most of September after fracturing his kneecap. Perennial MVP candidate Christian Yelich is back just in case you're wondering why no one should discount Milwaukee's chances to make another postseason run.